Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of Kings. Coming up this week, Barbadian Rainsman and now future Hall of Famer, Patrick Husband celebrates stakes win at Woodbine Racetrack on Patrick Husband's Day. Also, big US $150,000 stakes win at the Pimlico Racetrack in Maryland for fellow Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. And at Caymanus Park, former host of the year, further and beyond blows away the favorites in Saturday's feature event, the Seeking My Dream Trophy. Also at Caymanus Park, the aggressive Code California Crown makes it two from two of the Monday morning trophy event on Sunday. We begin with a big story out of Toronto, Canada. With a career spanning over three decades, it is nothing short of a dream for a young teenage boy who emigrated to Canada in 1994 from the small Caribbean island of Barbados a now seasoned veteran at the Woodbine Racetrack. Husbands, who would have just celebrated his 51st birthday on May 22nd of this year, was honored with an early birthday gift at Woodbine, dubbed as Patrick Husband's Day on Saturday, May 18. This year will mark 30 years since Husband's first grace the tracks at Woodbine, and his list of accomplishments over those years are incomparable to any other jockey that has competed during his era. The 51-year-old has more than 3,600 career wins, three Kings Plate victories including 2003 when he took the Canadian Triple Crown, Plate, Prince of Wales and Breeder Stakes aboard Wandu. He is an eight-time Sovereign Award winner as Canada's most outstanding jockey and just last month he was named to the Canadian Horse Racing Hall of Fame. The induction ceremony will take place in early August. I never think this would have happened. Wow. I'm a young kid growing up in Barbados household, four boys, four girls, mommy and dad deceased from a horse racing family in terms of daddy and my other two brothers. Um, I just want to share something with y'all right off the bat. The founder of Patrick Husbands, rest in peace, Joe Attar. Joe came to Barbados in 1987 to bring some Barbadians back to Canada. And I was 12 years old and I saw him and I went up there and I said, excuse me, sir, I want to go to Canada. He said, where's your mom? I said, I'm ready to work. Joe said, but where's your mom? He said, um, he was all flattered to know who this little kid. And um, three years later, I come to Canada and I start working for Joe when I was 15, just hot walking. So Joe, rest in peace. Usually the founder of Patrick, husband's. Despite Patrick Husbands' teary-eyed speech during the award ceremony for his unmatched 30-year contribution and achievements at Woodbine, he was still able to brush off all the emotions and swindle from his tux into his more familiar silks. To ride home from last, the 6-5 bet Vit Vauters ran, the 6-horse seen here chasing the entire field heading towards the 5-16 mark. They run to the 5 16ths and still out in front. CC Royal by a length and a quarter, Sabatini. Similar margin, a little frisky. And then came Rosa. Vitwaters Rand has some runners trying to find a way through now as they corner. And CC Royal joined by Sabatini. Here's Vitwaters Rand coming menacingly down the outside. And Patrick Husbands has raced up on Vitwaters Rand. And Vitwaters Rand has run by Sabatini quite easily. And from here, it's all about Patrick Husbands on Patrick Husbands Day. A fabulous win in the Ruling Angels Stakes. Vitvotas ran by four and a quarter. Patrick Husbands, the man of the day on his day, shows his class in what was nothing short of a masterclass of riding from the top of the home stretch to top of the then leaders down the straight and getting the win. A welcomed win for the connections of Vitvotas ran, a former two year Phillies champion from last season now registering her first win from three starts in her 2024 campaign. A four-lengths win margin for the 6-5 favorite Vid Waters Rand with the skillful Patrick Husbands in the saddle for trainer Mark Cassie. Clocking a modest 1 minute 29.99 seconds to complete the seven furlongs journey. To Kimanas Park, Jamaica now, where there was racing on Saturday and Sunday. Our first story comes from the Saturday card, where former Horse of the Year further and beyond stamped her class amongst rivals in the Seeking My Dream Trophy event. The Race 7 feature event on the Saturday card had a competitive bunch getting ready to take the track from the one draw was the Jamaica Oaks and 1,000 Guineas winner Mamma Mia with the lukewarm Panamanian jockey Joshua Osorio in the saddle. The big 6-5 to five favorite and former horse of the year further and beyond would break from gate 4 while the dark horse in the lineup, the once fearsome mahogany, would break furthest from the rails in a 6 box. 
Brian Rickman with the call. The leaders arrive at the three. They have a commanding advantage, these two. Mamma Mia now tested by Mahogany as they arrive at the 516th. They're about to come into the lane. The Philly, a Mamma Mia down on the rail. Mahogany, the big weight on the outside, now kicking in, and Mahogany takes a slim lead. Mamma Mia will try the fight back on the rail, but Mahogany at the moment looks to be too strong. Inside the final 316th, it is Mahogany out in front, responding to a touch or two of the right-hand stick. Mamma Mia continues the chase further and beyond now asked to close up on the outside it is Mahogany a 16th to run with that lead action pack Ray and Lewis all over Mahogany here is further and beyond exploding on the outside further and beyond grabs him 2023 most improved jockey Radish Roman puts the whip to the hip and gets a further and beyond to respond with winning strides clinching Mahogany on the line by a marginal three quarters of a length a well-deserved win for the jockey and horse coming off the pace to put in a good run in the final stretch further and beyond deservingly returning to the winner's enclosure after registering consecutive second place finishes in the last three outings radish roman again with a skillful ride this time aboard the five to one bet further and beyond for trainer donovan hutchinson in second place the big one to five favorite mahogany with the 2023 oaks and 1000 guineas winner mamma mia in third Still in Jamaica from a nine race Sunday card, the undefeated California crown romps to another convincing win, this time on the day's feature event, the Monday morning trophy. A restricted allowance race with a 10 horse field going seven furlongs, Global Machine from the one draw had the six time champion jockey Omar Walker nestled in the saddle, riding for trainer Carlton Cunningham. Other notable entries from the field were Bold Move from the Gary Sabrati Barn, and the big 3 to 5 favorite California crown with jockey Robert Hardball Halladine getting the mount. Kevin Burnside has the race call. They're coming at the top of the lane and now California Crown goes on for that lead. It's California Crown. Amma still there on the rail. It's California Crown in front of Amma coming down on the outside. That's Richest. That is Richest to rag, but it's, it's California Crown turning them back, coming to the furlong pole in the Monday morning trophy. It's California Crown in front and looks to have flown out of the grass to deep, but coming on the outside though, Richest to rag, but California Crown is omen dry. California Crown by about four and a half lengths. A good ride by jockey Robert Halladeen, timing his run to perfection before making his move at the top of the straight and powering the three-year-old coat California crown past the fading riches to rags. A four and a quarter win margin for the three to five favorite California crown stopping the clock in one minute, 28 and one fifth of a second over the seven furlongs course. A big win on the day for champion trainer Jason Acosta, the 2023 champion owner, Carlton Watson. Over in the USA now, another big stakes win for third generation horseman Safi Joseph Jr. at the Pamlico Racetrack in Maryland, winning the Miss Preakness Stakes with his 5 to 1 bet filly, Mystic Lake. The Barbadian trainer continues to make strides on the overseas circuit. A big win for the young trainer, the coveted Miss Preakness Stakes, with his speedy filly, Mystic Lake, seen here closest to the rail and lead in the pack. With a quarter to go at Pimlico, half mile and 46 and two-fifths of a second. Mystic Lake, Mystic Lake still going strong. Mystic Lake lights out, four-length lead with one furlong left to go. She's motoring home. Mystic Lake and Flavian Pratt, they're putting on a show by five. In front now from You Almost Had Me, Mystic Lake as sharp as can be in the Miss Preakness stake. It's Mystic Lake. A big U.S. $150,000 purse and a gate-to-wire performance by the 5-1 to one bet Philly Mystic Lake for trainer Safi Joseph Jr. with jockey Flavian Pratt on board. Wind margins 4.5 lengths over the distance, stopping the clock at 1 minute 11.40 seconds. A weekend of achievements for Barbadians Safi Joseph Jr. and Patrick Husbands. Trainer Joseph Jr. winning big in the Miss Preakness Stakes in Maryland and Patrick Husbands winning at Woodbine on a day fittingly celebrated as Patrick Husband's Day. And at Kimanas Park in Jamaica, things are heating up before the 1,000 and 2,000 guineas set for early June, the first classics of the 2024 season. We've been at the track covering the sport of Kings. Remember, don't be too quick to jump in the saddle unless you know what you're riding.